Hello, welcome back. I'm the Erroneous Kaiser. It's time to check in with what I'm going to be reading this month. This is my monthly comic book pull list for the month of August. Alright, I get these comics from DCBS or Discount Comic Book Service. I live here in Japan and I only do once monthly shipping. There aren't too many new series that I'll be introducing this month, but what I do have is weirdly interesting. All right, let's get into it. First new series in my picks for this month is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number one from Dynamite Comics. I don't know if you can tell, but I am a bit of a fan of Elvira. Uh, we know that's gonna be pretty funny in here. She's gonna be hopping through time and pop culture, I guess. Next, we have a new series from Image. This is Unnatural, number one. So what I know from this story so far, we, it's an anthropomorphic world. Uh, that is ruled by some to totalitarian regime and we follow our hero here uh, an anthropomorphic pig uh, through I don't know her her daily life I guess uh, it's supposed to be some kind of uh, thriller definitely adults only uh, I know there's gonna be a little bit of nudity in it uh, probably don't cover, cover. Uh, Milo Manara uh, who is an Italian artist uh, did this variant cover for this. Um, he is very famous for doing adult comics, uh, I think in like 70s, 80s. Uh, he's also the guy that did that, the Spider Woman cover a few years back that got a whole bunch of uh, backlash for her, well, one, for her not being in a, like, uh, anatomical correct position, but mostly for her pervacious butt. As Frank Cho then did a copy of that Spider Woman cover, I think with uh, Spider Gwen or something like that. Uh, Manara then painted a picture and gave it to Cho uh, at uh, some Comic Con, and it was uh, Spider Woman with her in costume, but with her leg up looking back and yelling, Cho! Um, but it sh there was very revealing as to what was underneath her costume. Uh, it was very, I guess you could say, contoured. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so we have him doing the cover here, uh, and in his, uh, I guess, natural, sexy style. The writer and artist, and, well, I think colorist as well, Mirka Andolfo, uh, is an, another Italian uh, uh, artist and writer, and she has also done uh, DC Comics Bombshells, she's done some Wonder Woman, and some other titles. I'm only picking up the first issue for now. Uh, I'm gonna get a feel for it, see if I really like it. But uh, uh, I'm, I am kind of excited about it to see where it goes. All right, this is the first series that I'm picking up from this comic book publisher, Waxwork Comics. Uh, and this is House of Waxwork. Uh, this possibly could be their first comic ever. Um, uh, actually, Waxwork is a record company that puts out soundtracks uh, of horror movies, uh, maybe other movies as well, on vinyl, uh, and, and going back to you know the 70s and 80s, uh, you know Nightmare on Elm Street, the uh, Halloween, uh, I probably get Suspiria and that kind of stuff uh, on vinyl uh, through Waxwork Records. Um, and what this is, this is the comic, and actually comes with the vinyl. Uh, I did not get the vinyl with this though. Uh, I think. Maybe because I was ordering through DCBS, I can find uh, the songs that are on the vinyl uh, on the internet as well. So maybe when I'm reading this comic, I'll uh, I'll listen to that. Uh, if I like it a, a lot, I'll probably have to go out and search for the vinyl as well. This is a comic that should be read while listening to the record that comes with it. I mean, it's not like a, a children's book where they read it for you on the record and you follow along. This, it's just kind of like an atmosphere, uh, background music, that kind of thing that you that you listen to while reading this comic, which I think is a pretty cool concept. I mean, sure, it's kind of gimmicky, but it is pretty cool. All right, what we got next is Attack of the Killer Bee Covers. Ah! 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 All right, we're done with that. These are B covers, and they're all from DC Comics. Uh, they are the B variants. They got the title and number of the comic just down here at the bottom. Other than that, it's all pure art oh, and the UPC, whatever. Uh, but we'll see here. And here we got Flash, number 49. Francesca Mattina, 
killer B cup. Flash number 50, another Francesco Martina. This is the Flash War Finale, killer B cover. You know I love these Jenny Frizons. This is Wonder Woman number 49, killer B cover. And another one, Wonder Woman number 50, killer B cover. Aquaman number 37, Joshua Middleton's killer B cover. All right, here we have a variant for Catwoman number one. Oh, I should put this in the number ones. Eh. Anyways, uh, Catwoman number one. This is the B cover that the Stanley Lau, also known as Art Germ, has done. I think it's a killer B cover. All right here, I have another Art Germ variant. This is Batman 49. Dude, killer B cover. We got Batman number 50, if you don't know already. You're gonna be disappointed, probably. All right, yeah, okay, we'll save the killer. All right, you've got Adam Hughes doing the variant B for this. This is uh, Superman number one. This is the beginning of Brian Michael Bendis' Superman series run. This is, okay, I'm actually a little disappointed by this. It's very nice. Uh, it's it's a killer B cover, but uh, Adam Hughes, um, I don't know, I, just, I expect something a little bit better. I guess he's just not as good at doing dudes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we got Justice League number two. This one done by Jim Lee, Martian Manhunter there on the cover. Uh, I mean, I think this is killer because we don't see many Martian Manhunter covers. So yeah, this is definitely a killer cover. And I will say this the same thing about Justice League number three. Hawk Girl on the cover there. This also done by Jim Lee. Killer cover. Okay, now I'm just going to get on to my tried and trues, uh, what I'm going to be reading for the rest of the month. No bells and whistles here. We've got Maestros number five here, uh, which I introduced in my last month comic pull list. Uh, this is an amazing series that I like very much. Uh, you could tell by the cover. Uh, it's going to be, it's definitely <laughs> a bit of fantasy. Uh, yes, this is totally gory, uh, totally fantastical. Uh, it just hits so many points that I really love. I mean, I'm not sure how far this uh, comic is going to keep going. It might be ending at 7. It might have already ended. Uh, but uh, they said if there was enough of a fan base, it would keep going. I haven't heard any news in months, though. Uh, but I I really hope this can keep going because I do love this. All right, here we got Doctor Strange number 2, which naturally is followed by Doctor Strange number 3. Uh, we know that Doctor Strange is going to space. Uh, there's all the stuff on Earth he can no longer get magic from, so he decides to go to space to find other items that are out there in the galaxy that use magic that he could use for himself. All right, I got Plastic Man number two of six, written by Gail Simone, uh, who is very funny. I do enjoy a lot of stuff that she, that she does. We got Descender number 31, written by Jeff Lemire. Uh, artist is Dustin Nguyen. Uh, everything's coming to a head here. Very, very good writing. Very, very awesome story. Excellent artist. Pestilence, a story of Satan number two. A uh, story of this is the church is trying to cover up that the Black Plague or the, uh, the Black Death uh, is actually a zombie epidemic, which has now uh, turned into not just zombies, but demonic or demonically controlled zombies. Satan himself uh, is starting this army of the undead. Uh, yeah, again, Church trying to cover it up, and we see the little cabal of knights uh, who know the truth are uh, are coming back into the story to, yeah, pretty much fight Satan and the Church. Harrow County 32, written by Cullen Bunn. He's writing a lot of good stuff right now. We have a slightly different cover than has been the norm. Uh, Harold County is from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, this is a horror, a horror comic. Uh, one of my favorite horror comics right now. Uh, I'm definitely loving it. Uh, horror County, number 30. Ah, sorry. Harold County, 30. Brothers Dracul, number three. Uh, this is also written by Cullen Bunn. Uh, it's from Aftershock Comics. Uh, the Brothers Dracul are vampire hunters. Uh, and definitely... It's, uh, it's very good. Oh, that sounds good stuff. <laughs> Is, that Is it? I thought so. Gideon Falls number four, uh, another story written by Jeff Lemire that I like very much. The priest and the garbage picker are 
learning a little bit more about the Black Barn as we go along. Another horror series that I think is really going in great direction. Black Science number 37, written by Rick Remender. This group of dimensional hoppers is still trudging on. Uh, we have left a few in the dust behind, uh, but uh, no, the series is really continues to be off. Immortal Hulk number two with that Alex Ross cover on there. This is sick. Uh, yeah, and the story and the art inside, all pretty good so far. All right, Paper Girls number 22. This is from Image Comics, as Black Science is, which is weird. They're both kind of like time dimension hopping uh, group of people. This one, however, uh, involves a bunch of Paper Girls from the 1980s. So very different vibe. Exo Man of War number 16. This is from Valiant Comics. In this issue, we're going to see more of Eric's backstory. I mean, like way back before he was even abducted by aliens and found the army. We got The Terrifics, number five. Uh, DC's Fantastic Four at the moment. Until I get the new Fantastic Four, uh, which be coming next month, even though they're already come out in the United States. Uh, I gotta wait a little bit. Um, well, until then, well, and even after that, I'm still gonna be reading this comic series. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty good stuff. All right, I saved the best for last. Saga number 53. Uh, by far still my favorite comic. All right, and that's gonna do it for us for the month of August. Uh, I know it's at the end of August already, though. Where I am right now, I think I'd like to do more with this channel and more uh, with with uh, comics and stuff. What I'd like to know is what you would like to see. Uh, would you like individual comic reviews? Would you like just more picks from my collection? What I have? Uh, why they're in there? Like the comic book stuff. Um, I don't. Yeah, let me know if I can. You know, entertain you more. Let me know that down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I know I got some new subscribers out there. Thank you guys very much for, for taking the extra effort to push that button. Uh, it actually means a lot. If you ignore all of that though, I still do hope you at least had a fun time watching. All right, I'm the Erroneous Geyser. I'll see you next time.